Got It Made, brought to you by Digital Trends and Case of Bass, with Ezra and his friends, where cool is made. We're here at the home of Rich Burton in Portland, Oregon, home of the Hooper Fly. Let's see what he's up to. This is Rich. Hi, Rich. Rich is cool. Welcome to Hooper Fly Central. We got some toys over here to play with. All right, let's check it out. Hooper Fly Central, what is a Hooper Fly? Hooper Fly is a democratic approach to building UAVs. I mean, that's what Hooper Fly really is. It's really about the ability for people to build a flying device. That's not something you, you get out of the box. It's something you get out of your head, and it's something you um, pull together with resources that you have around you, as opposed to having somebody hand you all the things ready to go. I did it! So these are all made out of pecs. This is, uh, some people call them drones, we don't, we call them flying robots because these are flying robots. But they all start as little pieces of plastic, little pieces of uh, white tubing. That's and we awesome. then take that white tubing and we fit it into a circle. And these circles, we make more little circles and those circles turn into little connected circles like this where they're all connected with zip ties. And once those are connected, we build a structure like this out of them. And then we've got uh, the beginnings of, uh, of an airframe. The goal is to build these so you can test uh, multiple aircraft flight. A lot of people today, they fly with a transmitter. Okay. So they'll have something like this and they'll be flying it. Right. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship between the flyer and the aircraft. Okay. Even with, even with the autonomous yeah. folks. My goal is to have zero of these and ah. however many aircraft I can get up here. And actually, it's it's, it's not a goal, I do it today. There's a sub-goal here is to see how many UAVs we can launch, and then we can say, well, globally, at the same second, we launch X thousand UAVs. You know, it's kind of thinking like that, is that we can do so much more when we're connected and when we're, we're kind of empowered to help each other. The projects I get to do as part of this, this kind of this journey, right. you know, getting called out of the blue by MIAs. kind of um, adventures present themselves often. Oops, sorry. <laughs> right there. Uh, just a guy trying to figure it out. 